Hello and welcome to Apalma Queries. In this video we will look at the Apalma Query sample for detecting potentially fraudulent ATM withdrawals. This is just one of the areas that Apalma Queries can be used for. Please take a look at the other query samples that come with the product. This sample contains monitors that generate withdrawal events that are used in the sample which demonstrates using Apalma Queries to detect two different possible types of ATM fraud. Looking through the project's contents, you can see the various elements that make up this sample. There are various bundles added for the elements we require access to. Dashboards are defined. Event definitions are defined in separate files. The monitors which generate random events, simulating both genuine withdrawals and fraudulent transactions. In our example, the fraudulent withdrawals are made by Batman villains, so they can be easily identified. And another monitor which reacts to the alert events sent from the Apama queries, which in turn sends the information to the data views, and then importantly, the queries themselves. The first query looks for three large withdrawals at a single ATM within a short period of time, as this could indicate someone who has a stack of clone cards and is getting as much money as possible. The second query looks for two withdrawals using the same card number at different machines within an interval such that a single person could not have made both withdrawals given the distance between the machines and reasonable assumptions about how fast someone could travel. This pattern of activity would suggest that a victim's card had been cloned, and one or more fraudsters were making withdrawals using that card's details at the different machines. If either query detects a suspicious pattern of withdrawal activity, then it emits an alert event. Now let's discuss the concept of Apalma queries. They allow the user to create scalable applications to process events that originate from very large populations of real-world entities. Apama queries are useful when you want to monitor incoming events that provide information updates about a very large number of partitions. For example, ATMs or card numbers. A query application operates on a huge number of independent windows of events, with a relatively small number of events in each window. Applications can be built using monitors or queries, and the two can interact, like the simulator monitors in, our, in this sample. With the PAMAS Visual Query Designer and Software AG's Designer, you can easily create new queries and view and review existing queries. You can inject PAMA queries into a running correlator with the PAMA Macros grant, or in this case automatically with Software AG Designer. Now let's run the project to show the PAMA queries in action. Remember the queries in this project are parameterized and so are not activated until there are instances of them. So for example, we need to specify a value for the threshold we are using in the query. So initially, the withdrawals are not being flagged as any kind of fraudulent behavior. We can create instances of our Apama queries by using the Scenario Browser to set the parameter values as follows. You will now see the fraudulent withdrawals in the dashboard. These are the result of the alert events that the query sent when they detected matching patterns of the events. The dashboards show up our villains in red, so you should see that they have been identified as fraudulent transactions. That's just a small taste of what Apama queries can do. Take a look at the other samples in the product, such as the car samples, which you can see use several input event types. More complex pattern conditions, such as without, aggregates to calculate averages of matching events, and it also uses source timestamps of events to give correct behaviour even if events are delayed or out of order. Thanks for watching.